All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor. champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins three losses he stands six feet three inches tall weighing in at 265 pounds fighting out of regina saskatchewan canada presenting the reigning defending undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your coin. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right under the elbow, body to the So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Boy, Todd Plum. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jabs. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get... Oh! He needs to start looking... Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here to clear the opponent. You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he scored these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Tom McGregor. Nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, huge block! Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. 
90 seconds to go in round one. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Great punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 30 seconds remain in the round. Big power shot there. 15 seconds. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Jab, jab, right hand. Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from this throwing that kick. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Follows through with a power takedown. And potentially a critical takedown here. Under three minutes to go round two. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner. And now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, collar tie. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. What a punch. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can... Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. A triangle, a triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all the way to the all right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches. 
that really did allow him to take control of this round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches. Good connection by a man. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get in this space so that he doesn't get finished. He's giving him so many different things right now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover from the clinch now. Ooh, nice trip to get the takedown. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. As the guard closed here. Nice hammer fist. Under three minutes remain in round three. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch him. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He going parallel right next to his opponent. And he's out. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Let's go. We got a scramble here. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. This is it. This is the last round. You're losing this one, man. Go out there. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, defense into offense. Shot blocked. Counter hook is good. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you. Wow. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And they both stand up. Big punch land through the middle. Oh, nice. Nice. 
lifts on the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. And they separate. Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout. Uh -huh. 